I, I look at it this way too. Like if, if you really think that you could hear a difference or feel a difference, I challenge you to a blind AB test as a player. And if you don't go 10 for 10, then you can't hear a difference. That's true. And then One, how many 100%. people would be willing to take that? That's true. It's Everybody funny. would be like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's true. It's totally true. And you got to go 10 for 10. Because if to. you go if you go back and forth, because our brains can act differently from take one to take three to take five to take seven, they can. Um, somebody, we were just having this conversation the other day, uh, or uh, Tuesday when I normally do these podcasts live, because somebody was saying, well, what you really need to do for this video, because you know you get that too, is um, what you really need to do for this video is have a scope and show on the screen what the signal, and I'm like, look, if you can't hear it, why do you need to see it? Because music is hearing. If you can't hear it, there's no point in putting it on an oscilloscope so you can see it. It doesn't make sense. And I think we get too caught up in that. And then the other thing is, well, yeah, but it doesn't feel real. Um, but I feel like that's kind of getting old too. The feel people are the ones that want this next to them. Oh, yeah. They, they're they used to playing in bands. It's usually the older crowd that has been playing with amps behind them for that, what 40 years. You can't expect them to get the same feel out of something that's now here or coming from the front wedge. It's a totally different sensation, and I don't get why people expect yeah. that. Yeah. You know, like, why do you expect something that you're listening to in headphones to feel like something you're listening to in a speaker on the floor. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 